If you are a man of discipline, you will have high lows, which is to say when I'm depressed or feeling down, I'm still more productive than an average man. You heard me? Because if I'm happy, I'll wall out and work 20 hours straight, 20 hours straight, enjoying it. If I'm depressed or feeling down, I might work seven hours, light work. You see, my lows are still higher than other people's highs because I have a high standard. You feel me? When you live with a high standard, you're going to perform. If somebody shows up right now, they're like, hey, Marquette, let's jump rope 15 minutes. Let's go. If they said, let's run 13 miles. Could I do it? Absolutely. It's in me. It'd be uncomfortable, but I know it's there because I keep my standards high. You'll never catch me and be able to say, let's jog fit five miles, 13 miles, and I can't do it. Not possible. I might not have the time, but I can do it. It takes courage to do a lot of things. It takes a lot of guts to stay in school. It's courage. It takes courage to get up every morning and bravery and pushing yourself when you don't want to, to go to work, to supply food for yourself and your family. You just have to stand up and grab life by the throat and not let go until you succeed. Courage. You all have it. It's just pushing the right button. Keep punching. It's very, very important to understand that you're creating your own reality because that begins the starting point of taking responsibility for the reality that you have rather than blaming external circumstances, blaming the chronic health condition, blaming the doctors who haven't been able to find a solution, blaming inflation, blaming a political party. We're creating our own reality. And if you want to change any aspect of your experience of life right now, you can and you do so through a changed mind. Because you motherfuckers is living on the safe side of life too much. And then you wonder why you're not getting what you want. It's because you don't really want it. That's what I'm encouraging you to do is to really want it, to really want something. And what you'll find is that when you push really, really, really hard on one thing, you're going to learn about yourself. You're going to learn how tough you really are. And when you learn how much resilience you really have, you can apply that widely to the various pursuits that you have, and you will see fruit. Pull the trigger. That's why my mantra is just fucking do it. And you know that you're gonna make a mistake. And by Allah's will, God's will, you don't make a mistake in the beginning, just consider yourself fortunate. It also almost always means if you don't make a mistake first time up, uh, it's because you're not, uh, your goal's not high enough. You need to embrace failure in the form of embarrassment as a stepping stone. The same way you look at trying as a good thing, because you'd rather regret the things you did than the things you never tried, you need to look at being embarrassed as a good thing. Yeah, I made a fool of myself. I tried. What did you do? Probably nothing. The same people that you're afraid of also aren't thinking about you nearly as much as you think about them thinking about you. Keep that in mind. You also need to visualize the success, not the embarrassment. Your vision board shouldn't be what's gonna go wrong every day. Your vision board should be what's gonna go right because it is gonna go right. Worrying doesn't take away tomorrow's troubles. It takes away today's peace. Your problem cannot exist as only a problem. You only, you, you just haven't flipped the script. You're so focused on the problem side, you haven't taken the time, or maybe nobody's ever even told you, turn it over! There's something great on the other side. You're going to struggle if you take chances. And taking chances and struggling builds a resilient person. And we find the characteristic of resilience to be very valuable <laughs> in this life. Well, let's then start to reshape how we think about all these things, you know, with specifically failure as a as a key mm -hmm. one of them. You have to you have to be decisive in life. You have to choose to win. You have to choose to surround yourself with winners. You, like every day that you get up, you make choices. And each one of those choices compound on top of the other choices, which deliver you certain results. I can always tell what somebody's choices look like in their day by looking at their results. And I know what their choices are. 
and and it, and it leads me to their belief system afterwards. And most people have a broken belief system because they make shit choices in life. The belief system is probably one of the biggest barrier to why people believe they can't, right? So their belief system comes from the the homogeneous culture that our society has created where failure is not tolerated, right? And to me, they cannot be a success without failures. They cannot be people to take moonshots without having some idea that won't work. And so to me, the creating that uh, belief system that says, I believe in myself. I finding that what I call, you know, falling in love with yourself. And when you do do that, it's not about being self-conceited. Falling in love with yourself is very simple. What that means is you don't let other people's opinion change, allow you to not pursue your own dreams. That means you don't let other people's own, own, own opinion change the way who you are. And I tell people the day you fall in love with yourself is the day the world will fall in love with you. In your personal life, you need to have rules in your personal life. And if you have rules in your personal life that you follow, you don't need that many of them. If you have a rule that says, hey, wake up early, if you have a rule that says work out every day, if you have a rule that says eat clean, if you have a rule that says get your work done, be productive, don't waste time. If you have those rules in your life, you're probably doing pretty good as long as you obey them. Now, if you can't follow those rules, then you need to put more rules in place. You need to be one of those people that sets the uh, this thing on your phone where it turns off at 10 o'clock. So you're not wasting time on that. You need to be the type of person that wakes up in the morning and says, okay, I'm not going to eat anything until I get done with a workout. That's my rules. Oh, and by the way, I can't control myself when there's a sleeve of freaking Oreos. So guess what? I have a rule that I'm not going to have any junk food in the house. And if you're wasting four hours a day watching TV, watching streaming services, which is now like putting heroin into your house because you can just tap into it at any time. Well, guess what? You, now you need to make the rule that you're not allowed to have any TV at all. You're not watching it. You can only watch it on you know, Saturday from seven o'clock at night until 10 o'clock at night. That's it. That's all the TV you get. So you need to put rules. If you can't follow the simple rules, the basic rules, then you put more rules into your life. And if you live by those rules, if you have to tighten up the rules on yourself, eventually you realize, oh, my life is a lot better when I don't eat crap. My life is a lot better when I wake up at, at a decent time every day. My, my life is a lot better when I don't waste a bunch of time doing things that don't provide me any benefit whatsoever. And if you can live by those rules, your life is gonna be better.